Hello YouTube, so I'll be making an overview of the CCC 2014 uh, the solutions to J4 and J5. These are my actual solutions during the competition. So um, they may not be the most efficient com uh, solutions because I took them straight from when I was actually inside during the competition on my flash drive. So this is basically what I used to get a decent score on the CCC. So essentially how this works is you first read the guess and store it into an integer. The original guess is stored here, which isn't really required. You have the cycles here, and you have number of people. Now you have the number of people, which increases by the guess plus one. And then inside here, I provide a value in increasing order of every single guest. So then I have a multiplier, and I have a two remove array, which is 1,000 in length. If there were to be more than 1,000 guests, this program would crash, but it would just change the size of the array depending on the number of guests. Inside here, you set all the two remove variables to negative one. <clears throat> and then whenever you want to remove something, inside that index, you actually provide the value that you want to remove. So if people is not equal to negative one, then increment the counter. So you're actually counting real people inside the array. And this is pretty much how it works. And at the end, it outputs all of the non-negative one values. I'll upload this on um, online so you guys can see the solution. And now for the other one, again, this isn't very efficient, but for some reason I wasn't getting the points, just simply because I was I didn't check this, and I was outputting the wrong thing. But essentially, what this does is it loads two different. Um, it loads. It pretty much uses a string tokenizer, and inside the string tokenizer, it breaks up all of the different sentences into smaller words known as tokens, and then it stores them in an array for the size of how many partners there are. And then there's a boolean called works that sends it to a black box method, and then it finds out if it was ever paired, and if it was paired again to make sure that it's paired with the right person. And then it also makes sure that the pairing is not the same name. And pretty much this is how it works. You guys can see on your own. So I hope you guys enjoy this very quick overview. And please consult the code in the description below. Thanks for watching.